Hey, what's up? Werner is here. Super fans with a uber tight retro bike review. So this is the Rally uh, Terminator. Or Tarantula if you want to call it. Uh, a quick shout out though to uh, Jared D. Uh, he's the inspiration for this video. Uh, he has the uh, Chromali uh, Rally on his channel with a whole bunch of bike builds, uh, motorized and nature videos. Uh, so just uh, you can uh, type Jared D and then bike and you'll find his channel. It's Jared D. Uh, okay, so back to this bike. Uh, this is the Chromali uh, uh, frame here. If you can see that. It's got the 4136 uh, tubing. I think it is there or 4130 or something. So uh, this used to cost uh, almost $1,000 in the late 90s. Uh, this thing is very good. It has, uh, it, it, the frame is very light, kind of, uh, this chromoly. And, um, this one's kind of been mistreated because, uh, it's covered, it got covered in salt, but, uh, it's still pretty good condition. Uh, the only thing I don't like is these old style, uh, dropouts. Um, but that, that's, every bike used to be like that pretty much. So it has all Shimano derailers and Shimano cranks. This thing, I put thousands of kilometers on this thing, and it's still dead straight. So I don't know if that's just the way I ride it, uh, or that this crank is so well made. So it's still perfectly straight. It needs a, a totally to be rebuilt though. Everything here, the chain is uh, stretched. But uh, basically, if you take care of this bike, uh, you can see that this, uh, like the wheels are straight, they're rusted out because of that salt. But uh, if you take care of your bike, uh, it, it's going to last. Like don't park it outside in the rain, you know. These shocks, SR Suntour, these things are amazing, eh? So they still work really good. And these uh, Pro Max uh, brakes, this uh called Pro Max. You can see it says Pro Max on there. So these things are amazing. Like uh, you can stop on a dime with uh, with these brakes. Uh, I had to replace the handlebar and the stem. The, the bolt it actually broke inside because the this is a much stronger design. The old style was a weaker design. These things are more solid. This is from a cheap bike, you know. So I was about to sell this bike, but then uh, uh, I actually uh, didn't. I sold a different one. So. This one I might keep, but uh, this thing is uh, very good. It has an aluminum seat post, uh, and uh, that mega range, though, that was a, a stupid design. Those things never really worked properly. You couldn't get onto the highest uh, uh, sprocket there. But uh, so what they should have done is uh, made it each gear. I don't know, uh, you know. So this is uh, this this bike is very good. Uh, the only other thing I don't like about this is that the frame is so big that it kind of hits the pa your package right here if you get off of the seat. So um, most modern bikes, they're designed uh, on an angle or something. Like uh, this one here is a, is a girl's bike, most likely. Let me get some lights. Uh, but uh, I'm actually going to uh, use this possibly in a project because I can make a commuter bike. So you see how they made the frame. I lifted this thing up. It's not heavy. This is high tensile steel. And it has uh, this uh, Shimano badging, 18 speed. Uh, as you can see, Shimano, Shimano. Uh, so it has the old style dropouts, but uh, I like the frame. It doesn't really look like a girl's bike. It looks almost like unisex. So that's why I want to turn. It has the front shocks. I could turn this thing into a nice commuter. Just get rid of these stupid shifter grip. This is a retard. It's like a uh, stupid. So um, yeah, this bike uh, is is very is very good. Um, look at if you could look at this tire. This is from the late '90s. It's brand new. I, so I saved this one, I think, uh, or something. Uh, but uh, they they had the alloy crank over here. I mean the alloy hub inside there. Um, so this thing was uh, was quite good back in the day. This was late 90s. Um,
but th like I said, this thing was expensive. So you, but you can get a similar to this in, in the department store, uh, like Walmart, they were selling the rallies. I don't see them anymore, but you could still get them for like $300 even today. So this thing was just overpriced because it was from a bike store. Uh, okay guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.